Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been way too long, but I am back with another Project Life video today. As a reminder, I am doing Project Life monthly this year. I've already completed January and this one is going to be the first one of February. The plan is to do two spreads per month unless I have an event or something else come up that I need to do more spreads for that month. But this one is going to be the first half of February, which includes Valentine's Day. So most of these supplies that I'm using are going to come from the February Studio Calico Kit. And as you might have guessed it is a lot of hearts and love theme supplies which are going to be great for some of my photos I have here. So let's get started and dive right in. I've got my title card already picked out and right now I'm going through the journaling cards. I'm going to go with the color scheme of reds and pinks and blues because I have a lot of blues in my photos and also reds. Instead of adding the word February to my title card, I decided to cut up the chipboard February piece that came in the Studio Calico kit and cut it up. And I'm gonna put it on a three by four journaling card. And right now I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. So I've just left it there on the empty space in between a couple photos. I've gone ahead and cut about an inch strip off of this 4x6 card. And I'm going to put it at the top of what is going to be a journaling card. One of the things that I have discovered while doing monthly Project Life is that I want to add as many photos in as I can and that leaves less room for stories. So I'm going to try to figure out the best way to handle that. And this time around I'm going to use a big journaling card. Next up is I'm going to finish my title card. And this one again I'm not going to put the word February on it. I am just going to add some embellishments to this gold heart card. The first thing I did is I added a strip of washi tape and then I added that chipboard banner piece. And I wanna add something below the banner piece. So I'm trying to figure out exactly what. So I pull out some puffy stickers, to see if it would work down there on the bottom. It turns out that they were a little bit too big, so I put them back and I'm gonna go with one of these white stars. All right, I've got my star there on the bottom. It might be a little bit hard to see in the video, but I wanna put something on the top side of the banner, the chipboard banner. So I'm gonna look through my stamps and see if I can put a stamp there on the top. I'm gonna end up putting that circle stamp and that one was from a Studio Calico kit and it has a camera in the middle. So I'm gonna get my ink and go ahead and put it on there and then my title card is gonna be all done. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about a couple of the photos now that I have here on this spread. The top one on the left-hand side, that one was from when I took my son out for lunch. We wanted to celebrate one of his school achievements, so I took him out and got a little funny quote that I'm gonna put on one of the journaling cards later. The two bottom photos on the left hand side and then also one of the 3x4s on the right hand side, those were from when I took the kids out hiking one day. The weather in February was so pretty that we spent a lot of time outside and 
when I took the kids hiking, they really didn't want to go at first, but I knew they would have a good time. When it was time to leave, they didn't want to go, and they begged me to stay, so we stayed a little bit more before we went ahead and packed up and headed home. But I wanted to make sure I got a couple photos of that hike, and then also I'm going to add a little bit more of the story part onto the big 4x6 card. I forgot to mention one other photo that we took on our hike. I wanted to make sure that I was in some of the photos, so I put the camera on the ground up the trail and set the timer and took the photo. And that's the one that's on the top on the right hand side. Included in the first couple weeks of February was Valentine's Day. So I do have a couple of photos that we took. We did a little photo shoot. Right now I'm stamping on one of the photos that we took during our little mini photo shoot. I've got a stamp that has an X and an O, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp it on the photo a couple times. I've added this square photo to one of the Studio Calico kit cards, and then I have a wooden banner from Colorcast Designs on the top, and it says all the feels. And I've also included a couple more of those banners around my spread. And those are really fun. Those were included, I believe, in her January release. I'm not sure if she still has that set available, but I will check and leave the link in the notes if she does. But make sure you check out her stuff. It's colorcastdesigns.com. I grabbed over my set of journaling cards from the February Studio Calico Kit. I'm looking for a card that's going to go underneath the February, the cork piece right there. And then I'm going to put some journaling down at the bottom. So I don't want it to be too busy, but I do want a little bit of color. And I'm going to go with this one that has a yellow border around it. I think it'll be perfect. Just add a little bit of color and then it has some space that I could put my journaling down at the bottom. So I've placed my February piece just to make sure that it will work well on the card. And then I believe I am going to grab it and place my journaling. Yes, there we go. I've got my journaling printed out on the card and now I am ready to put the card together. So I just need to grab some glue and go ahead and get that card done. I have another one of those wood banner pieces and it has a cutout of a heart and I want to go ahead and put something underneath there that has a little bit of color to add a little bit more to that card. So I'm looking through those journaling cards again to see if I can find something that I could put underneath the heart. I found this pretty watercolor card that I'm just gonna put the banner on top and then cut around it so that way you can see the journaling card underneath the banner. While I get that done, why don't I talk about a couple other Valentine's Day photos that I took. I have one of me in my Valentine's Day heart sunglasses. I did a lot of running around that day and I wore my glasses pretty much all day while I was in the car. And so I wanted to get a photo of that. And then I also have one photo of my daughter down there on the bottom on the right hand side. She's got the same glasses on and then she's making a heart. And then I also have one of my son there on the top right hand side. And he's got his crush bottle and then he's got a love straw to drink it out of and I found those at Target and the kids really loved those. They used them for about a week later after Valentine's Day. All I need to do to finish up this card is to glue everything down. So I grab my liquid glue and hopefully it'll stick okay. If not, I might end up stapling the cork piece down to the card. I guess we'll have to wait and see how it holds up, but for now I'm just going to go ahead and stick it down with glue and hope for the best. 
The next up is that I'm going to put some journaling on to that other card on the left hand side. This one's going to include the little conversation that me and my son had when I took him out to lunch. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of a washi sticker down at the bottom. And then I'm going to figure out what I want to put on there as well. I'm going to add the date on the bottom with my date stamp. And then I'm going to put a puffy asterisk sticker on there on the top. And that card is going to be done. I'm going to leave it as is. This left hand side of my spread is pretty much done. The only thing that I need to do is to finish the bottom picture and I've got to glue that circle piece on and I've decided that I want to put a couple word strips on there as well. I'm going to stick them on this circle piece that I have and this one I believe is from the Lost and Found story kit from Allie Edwards that I've had for a while. So I'm glad I could go ahead and get one of those used up. I feel like it needs a little something extra. So I'm going to grab one of these stars to put on there. And then this left hand side is done. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put a stamp on the 3x4 photo of when we went on our hike. I've got this stamp set that came in the Stories by the Month kit from I believe March and it says get outside so I'm going to go ahead and stamp that on the photo and then I have one of these cork geotags that I'm going to put right on the top of there. I'm about to wrap up my spread. I've got two cards left. This blue one that I'm working on now I'm going to put a a mostly clear circle piece and it has the word happy on it and you can see through it so I thought I'd add that and then I've got another wood banner that I'm going to add to this journaling card. Now I've already added my printed journaling so all I have to do is put these two pieces down and that card is done then I can move on to the last one which is this big four by six journaling card that I have mostly done. I just need to figure out what I want to add and then also put my journaling on there. I'm gonna add another stamp from the March Stories by the Month kit. And this one says, Kiss Me. And I thought that would be appropriate for these February photos. So I'm gonna stamp that on the card now I've got that stamped on there, I can play around with this chipboard piece that I have already picked out. And then I also want to add something else. So I'm going to use one more of these white stars. I thought that would be a good idea since I've used a couple other ones around the spread. So I'm just trying to figure out the placement of everything, get the star in the right spot, and then the card will be ready to print my journaling on and then I can finish it up after that. I know I've talked about this before in other videos but I like to get everything figured out on my journaling card for the most part and then I can make sure I know exactly where and how much space I have for my journaling. So there we go. I've got it on there. Now I can go ahead and finish putting this card together. And that will wrap up my first couple weeks of February in my 2018 Project Life album. I want to thank everyone for coming as I wrap up this video. I appreciate each and every one of you. And for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. And I'm so glad you're here. I know I took a little bit of a break there, but hopefully I will be back to a, a regular schedule which will hopefully be one video a week, if not more. So I want to wrap this up by saying thank you again. Thanks for coming and watching and for all your likes and your comments. Oh, looks like I've got one more thing to add. I'm going to add some stickers there at the bottom of the journaling card. And then that'll be it for me. So I will see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for some close-up photos, and I'll see you next time. Bye!